Okay guys, so I started firstly by oiling my scalp. And it is so important, I feel like, to oil your scalp before you put any harsh chemicals like such as hair dye on your hair. It helps protect your hair, helps protect your roots, it helps protect your skin. It just all around is good for dyeing your hair. Um, I like to lather my locks um, to make sure that the dyeing process doesn't dry out my locks and my locks stay moisturized throughout the process. Uh, when your locks stay moisturized throughout you know, a chemical process as, as such as dyeing, it can damage your hair. And so uh, I just oil my scalp like crazy before I dye my hair to assure that my locks don't get damaged and don't become weak and eventually break off. I've never had a lock that's breaking yet. And I'm four years in, y'all, four years in. Okay, so continuing in the video, um, side note, I'm listening to music slash talking to my sister. Um, so if you see me talking or singing, dancing, whatever, that's what I'm doing. So yeah, like I said, it's important to oil your scalp. Moisture is key to keeping length and assuring that your hair does not break. That's what we want. Healthy locks don't break off, you feel me? Um, also, I feel like it's so much easier to manage your hair and not with just locks, but natural, you know, grow hair too. Um, loose natural hair, I guess is the term. It is so much easier to manage and to style oil whatever you're doing if you section your hair off into four sections and I suggest four sections being the minimum the minimum um, for me four sections is always my go-to I always section my hair off in four sections for the fact that I never was tender-headed when I used to have loose loose um, natural hair but now that I have locks and I really don't have my hair or my hands in my hair as much as I did when I had a fro. Um, I become so tender-headed. Look, <laughs> on the video, taking out that thing even hurt. So yeah, I'm so tender-headed now. And so for me, it's just so much easier to section off my hair into four sections whenever I'm dyeing it or oiling it or styling it, whatever. It's just easiest. Um, it doesn't pull on my hair. I don't hear loose hair popping, you know. As far as oils, um, Shoot, I really just like to stick to what I've known and always known throughout my lock years. I've been locked for four years, so um, I'm always using jojoba oil. Peppermint oil is hands down my favorite oil because it's so light, it smells good, it leaves my hair shiny. Um, I like castor oil, it is heavy for my hair, so I don't use it throughout my hair most or <laughs> more so just for like my front and you know if I want my edges to grow or just thicken my hair up some. I love using olive oil, love, love, love olive oil, um, more so for the fact because it's on the cheaper side, well, it's not cheap, but for, you can get a big bottle of it for cheap is what I'm saying. Um, I recently just started using coconut oil again. When I first started locking, I used coconut oil and water, like, that's all I use. But coconut oil, my hair started becoming resistant to that, and so coconut oil really wouldn't moisturize my hair, so I had to switch up my routine some and I'm trying to think if I use any other oils and nothing's really coming to my mind oh I always use this growth oil I don't think I use it in this video but there is this growth oil that I always have been using for the past four years <laughs> look at my little lock that I combed out in the back that's where it is um, that little squiggly a uh, little warm lock in the back <laughs> in my kitchen but yeah um, anyways so yeah, I'm just oiling my scalp. I just finished, I believe. And so I'm just getting my roots, getting my edges, my crown. I really focus on my crown because for me, um, that's really where my weakest hair is, my crown around my head. And so this is the color that I'm using. I usually use, um, you know, those colors, that, the cream colors, yeah, from like Sally. I love Sally. I feel like Sally's has some nice quality hair dye. And I'm always going to L'Oreal or... I think it's pronounced clear, clear all, whatever. But um, L'Oreal, they hands down have some nice hair dye. It's quality, the color always comes out. But my bank account did not allow me to um, go to Sally's and get this hair dye. And also the Sally's around my house closed. Boo, y'all suck. But yeah, I got this from Walmart, I think. Just something cheap. Um, but Revlon, honestly, I've used Revlon 
many times with dyeing my hair. And so um, if I am going to go to like a cheaper hair dye, I'll go to Revlon. And that's really it. Um, I wanted the color to be like a brownish color. And so I'm not sure exactly which colors I used. Maybe I took a picture and I'm able to insert the color names. But yeah, I was going for a brownish chocolateish color. Um, I know I used, I think, three different hair dyes. And I want to say, it's coming back to me, y'all. I want to say I use like light auburn or dark red auburn, something like that. But I do, but I do know I used auburn colors it's coming back to me and yes i went for the auburn box color dyes um and so yeah i'm just starting off i was going to dye my hair in the four sections but honestly for me i'm kind of a messy dyer so messiness really doesn't bother me and so yeah i started off just dyeing the four sections all together but as you can see through well we if you keep watching um I just ended up taking the four sections out and just really just uh, just mission it into all my locks into kind of one thingy. If that makes sense. I don't know what I'm saying, but hopefully y'all can get what I'm saying. Dying locks is truly a process. Um, because of the amount of hair, well, I guess everyone is different, but for me, my locks, they're on the thicker thigh, <laughs> thicker side, I would kind of say. They're not as thick as some locks of people I've seen, but they're definitely on the thicker side. And so for me, it takes a lot of product for me to dye my hair, or really just to do anything, to moisturize it, to wash it, condition it, deep condition it, anything. It's going to take me a lot of product. So for dyeing my hair, I think I use four or five boxes, probably five, just to be on the safer side. Um, in the process to dye in your locks, you want to make sure, well, like I said, everyone is different, but... Um, yeah, everyone is different when it comes to the product you use and how you have to use it. But for me, I like to squish it into my locks, into my locks to make sure that the color actually, you know, pier is pierced through the whole lock. And, you know, when it starts to fade, I don't get this blotchy, you know, kind of see the inside of my locks dark looking. And then the outside of my locks is the actual color. You know, it just doesn't look nice to me. I don't like the blotchy look. And so... Yeah, it takes me a while to make sure that all the product is squished properly into my locks and, you know, evenly distribu distributed throughout my hair to ensure that the color shows up. Like I said, it is definitely a process, um, a lengthy process at that. But if you do it correctly, your color is definitely going to come out the way you want it. And so, yeah, that's what I'm just doing. Squishing. I'm dispersing the color into my hair. Um, if I'm using a darker color, I really don't focus on where I put it at my hair first. But if I'm bleaching, I definitely do my roots last because every time I've bleached my hair and I've started with my roots, they always come out brighter than the rest of my locks. And that's probably because my roots have less hair in them that, you know, the actual locks do. Because, you know, I've been locked for four years and so I haven't combed my hair since four years. And so all that hair is just all combed up and twisted and tangled up into my locks and so that's why I always start with either the root I mean not the root not the root either the ends and work my way up so I always suggest starting with the ends when you're dyeing your hair and working your way up whether you're bleaching it um dyeing it a lighter color dyeing it um a darker color whatever I always suggest just starting with the ends and working your way up Okay, so yeah, uh, I'm just finishing up putting the color into my hair. And honestly, if you just want to fast forward and to the part where I actually wash all this out and see the color, yeah, I wouldn't even be mad at you. But for my lock loves and my lock kings and queens, if you're actually trying to get an in-depth video on how I dye my hair, just keep watching. 
But for those impatient ones, <laughs> go ahead and just fast forward. Okay, so I just finished up putting the hair dye in. I'm going to put a plastic bag on my hair to keep all the heat in. And I'm pretty sure I even put a blow dryer, you know, to, help, to that plastic bag to even help heat my hair up more. Heat helps with dye, so yes. And I'm going to wash it out. And here's my color. And yeah, I love it. And I'm going to insert some pictures so you can see it. 